Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again, and a box. This box is special. If there was an award for having the world's best packing, this guy would owe me 20 bucks. Greatest packing ever. But, let's open it, see what's inside. Thankfully, it is quite easy. I lied. No power adapter, as I expected. I don't know what this is if you saw it like two seconds ago. Box away, packing away. Eleanor laptop here. This here is the Eleanor M9700. This is um, the first 17 inch laptop to have dual GPUs. So that's special. The alien head down here, I assume, lights up. When it's powered on, you have a lot of ports. Audio in, coaxial in. It's got a built in TV tuner, so that's good. S video out. And then you have the phone line power. Oh, it's one of those. Surprising. A USB S um S video in. Yeah, I guess so. DVI output and VGA output there. LAN, some kind of venting. Two USBs, thirteen ninety four firewire. Two hard drive slots here. SD card slot and then PCI Express or PCMCIA card slot. Ah, very cool. It came with its own little TV remote. You know, for a TV tuner. And then the front is a DVD drive. Right side, you have some. Right side is audio. That's all it is. And then you have a little slider here. And one USB. In case you can't tell, the case has seen better days. Especially this corner up here. It's a very shiny case, and it doesn't have very many scratches. No keys missing. There's a power on. And that needs to be plugged in. No more snowflex on the keyboard. Yeah, this feels really, really nice. I really need to get a second power adapter though, because I thought this core is going to be the old four pin power adapter style that Alienware used to use. I'm trying to get a voltage reading. 19 volts at 7.89 amps. So along with all that, it's got a shovel for here. And someone already went through the gratitude of giving this thing lifters. It's got a little, little thing in each corner to help lift it off the table. I want to see the insides of this. 
So I don't think I have a screwdriver right. Now she'll give me 32 seconds. Not even. I'm back. Magnetic screwdriver always works. Missing a screw there. There's one down in there. Gotta remember that that's a long one. This can actually be lifted up now. Oh, I didn't need to put. Well, take that screw out. I'll put it back in later. I forget where it went. Okay, so, we have two actually tiny fans. I'm surprised they're this small. I guess that's why it's so quiet. But anyway, you have one fan controlling the two GPUs. Here they are. I'm not sure what they are. They're probably either 7500s, 7900s, or, or 7950s. Here's the SLI cable, that's quite important. And these are their own graphics cards, you cannot put in a 680 in here. Because it's not the right socket. Two 1 gigabyte crucial uh, memory cards here. And then of course the subwoofers up here. So it's missing one, two screws that hold the top in. Hmm, not bad. I was wondering why this um, computer barely had any venting in it. It's because the fans are so tiny. I want to get um, a compressed air thing and just clean up the vents. I'll be right back. back again. Not all these trips are taking very long because I'm just right outside the door where I keep all my stuff. Well, actually inside. Very clean. I don't even think I had to take this apart. We ever had this before? Obviously the little um, things to, that keep it up did their job. It's not dusty at all really. This is dirty though, so. Yeah, overall I give the guy who had this before a 10 out of 10 for keeping this thing clean. Packing, well, yeah, that's another story. Put that long one in first. So one screw goes here, and then the other one was over here. And then there's a hard drive oh, screw here, so I take it that's where Caddy 1 is, or hard drive 1 is, if there is one. Oh yes, there are two hard drives. The both SATA, one rattles, and one is... I think they're both 60 gigabytes. Oh wait, this one's 80. Maybe they're both 80 gigabytes. Now one's 60 gigabytes and one's 80 gigabytes. I'm not sure which hard drive is number one and which hard drive is number two. And now this one went in here. I was gonna use them in a RAID format, but they're different different drives and different sizes. 
things were threaded, they had to be exactly the same in every category. Actually, yay, I do have a 250GB on standby, so let's upgrade it right here. Put the 80 gigabyte here and take out the Toshiba. It's using the screws diagonally, so it's only two screws. Yay. If you ask me, it looks like he's just using the hard drive screws to screw the whole thing in. If it works, it works. No, no mistake about that. So this will become, I assume, the new main drive. It will most likely house Windows 7. And then sometime in the future, Windows 8.1. Depends on how good that is. It's like 2 in the morning here. I sleep all day, wake up at night, I'm nocturnal. But it is summertime, so can you blame me? We still have two more months to go. I'm going to tighten up the two screws here. Here they're not diagonal, so let's just fix that and put this one in the opposite corner. Just for stability's sake, I guess. Since this is going to be the main drive, I'll have that be the one screwed in. Screwed in. Seems to have lost its thread. I'm not. Well, I'm not pushing down hard enough. Yeah, it lost its thread, or it's too long, or they're the wrong size altogether. And I don't think I have any spare screws around here that would fit. You see why he now had it at an angle. I guess that's the best I'll get it. Well, I guess I'm going to go find a power adapter that'll fit this and power it up. So, see you then. Okay, we're here. I think I got the right AC adapter. Like it's lining up there. And there. But whether or not it'll charge it, I don't think so. And I forgot to mention that up here there is a webcam and you can kind of adjust it so that you won't need to tilt the whole screen. Let's see if that comes into play. Nothing on your DVD drive. And check summary bad. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I didn't think it was the right power adapter. No, not the right power adapter. It doesn't have enough amperage. It's got the right voltage, but amperage is way too low. So, like it says it's charging, so... Let's wait for it to be charged, and then we'll see if it'll power itself up, or if it's just a dead, dead battery. Or if I find another power adapter, which very will, or could be likely. Maybe it's got too much of power. Yeah, it does. It's got the 
two hard drives and the two GPUs and everything else inside of it. Let's take another look at the internals. Does the screen have any like defects or anything? Capacitor buttons are all up here. And I'm saying press like the delete key at the startup. So Nope. It's just not coming around. Well the power up now is the battery just shot. Yeah, it's saying it needs to be charged. Blinking red. So I'll get back to you when it's charged. If it ever does charge.